Praise the Lord, everybody. Blessings to you all. It is Archbishop Adam Awema with the Ecumenical Order of Christ. I hope all is well. I'm out here enjoying some nature, as you can tell. Beautiful day, sun's just coming out. Been hearing some interesting things, but um, just want to share a quick message with you all. Something God cautioned about, which is adding and subtracting to his word. I have my Bible with me, so I'm actually going to read the verse for us. Uh, it says, I warn everyone who hears the word of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds anything to them, God will add to him the plagues described in this book. And if anyone takes words away from this book of prophecy, God will take away from him his shares in the tree of life and in the holy city, which is described in this book. So... Adding can be as simple as adding our own interpretation. God fulfills his word as he wills, not exactly how we expect. So uh, we must be open to the limited possibilities of how he may do that. An example may be from Acts chapter 7 verse 48, which says, um, God does not dwell in temples made by human hands. Right off the bat, I can think of four. And uh, one is our minds, our temples. God dwells within our mind. Uh, we know from reading the Bible that our body is described as a temple. And in the Gospel of Thomas, it says the kingdom of God is within us. So therefore, that is another interpretation. God can have his throne on a, another celestial body, another planet. Or God can live on the third temple, which is coming out of heaven, which was prophesied in Revelation. So we see we have four interpretations just from reading one verse. I just want to caution against that because many people don't understand that and Many, many even take the time to read their Bibles or add or subtract to them. So be mindful of what you say. Be mindful of how you go about things because God said what he said. He didn't say more. He didn't say less. So if something is fulfilled of how he written or how it was written, then it's considered fulfilled. It doesn't have to be how we expect it. But I thank you all for today. Uh, I hope all you are blessed in the name of Lord Rael. If you want to join us on uh, in the International Congregation of Lord Rael on Facebook, be more than happy to have you. Um, you want more information on the Messiah, you can go to ra-el.org or you can go to Lord Rael, that's R-A-Y-E-L.org. It'll take you to the same place. Or you can follow us on YouTube. You can go to Armageddon Broadcast Network. Uh, we're trying to ensure people get all the information they need to be enlightened and to stay safe. But thank you. May God bless you all. Until next time. Amen. Those within the Ecumenical Order of Christ are pleased and honored to provide everyone with the whole truth behind history, religion, and end time prophecies. Through our teachings and testimonies, each clergy member is dedicated to seeking out all matters and presenting the unadulterated evidences clearly with the divine guidance of the returned Christ, Lord Rael. We strive to be a light in this dark world, and you can too by helping spread these messages. Many of us have given up our comfortable lives in today's society, and we now live through the kindness and generosity of others in order to pursue the higher path of knowledge. If you wish to continue learning more truths and would like to help us continue our mission, you can do so by sending even a small donation to sanctuaryinterfaithisrael at gmail.com on PayPal. Check us out online at sanctuaryinterfaith.org, lordrael.org, and armageddonbroadcastnetwork.tv. Don't forget to join us online at the International Congregation of Lord Rael on both Facebook and VK. Please be sure to check out all of the links in the description field. Remember to love God and each other. Thank you and God bless.